Recently, we did a comparison, high beam comparison using the new SL2 Pro bulbs and the Morimoto two-stroke bulbs. And a lot of people were interested in seeing a low beam comparison. Again, um, the results in this video, it's not gonna apply to every single make and model. Uh, we'll be doing a comparison in a spare set of lights that we have at the shop from a Lancer and it's a halogen reflector. So that'll be interesting to see. We don't know how it's going to go. We haven't fully analyzed it yet, but we've got the Morimoto two stroke 4.0 in 9006 size and SL2 Pro by Dio Dynamics. We're showing off the bulbs. You can see the Dio Dynamics is kind of like an all in one. You just twist it in, there's no external driver. They both have a integrated cooling systems in the sense that there's no fan sticking out the back, which is cool. Dio Dynamics has it up in the front, which is definitely unique and something that we haven't seen. Morimoto has the fan kind of built into the rear, but it doesn't come out the rear. It actually is all kind of internalized and it comes out those two holes. Uh, you can read more about that on the product listing and see how that all works, but it's pretty interesting. Uh, so we'll get right into the video and we'll show you a low beam comparison on these lights that we have. All right, we're gonna be testing these from 25 feet distance. We've got the new SL2 Pro installed. We'll do a comparison first against the factory halogen bulbs in these factory assemblies. And we'll show you how this all looks. All right, we've got these at the same distance, literally at the same height. We are holding the lights, so it's not a fixed setup, but it's as good as we can get for right now for you guys, because people have been asking about this setup. And I'll play with the exposure a little bit to show. Obviously you've got the halogen up top and the diodynamics. The camera picks it up pretty good actually. Both of them, the intensity area is a little bit underneath the cutoff. And if you take a look at the cutoff on the halogen, it's actually really quite sharp. There's really no light bleed above it. The diodynamics appears to do a pretty good job at that. The intensity zone is much larger on the diodynamics. There is a little bit of a stray light coming off of it. Let's see the factory one by itself. Yeah, they both have a little bit of stray kind of coming up above. It depends on um, the intensity and the uh, camera settings. But uh, if we take a look at them both, I think they look pretty good. Obviously the halogen, this is a good example of a 9006 halogen. Uh, usually we don't see too many of these systems and there are usually better ones like H11, but this is pretty decent. I think on the Diodynamics one, it is uh, a lot larger and wider, not as clean as factory, obviously. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for to mimic the original, you know, beam distribution and pattern overall. But I can tell right off the bat it's brighter. And uh, we'll compare it next with the Morimoto two stroke to see the differences. Okay, before we move on, going to get a max intensity rating uh, reading with uh, the Lux reader, Lux meter. Um, this will give us the peak output. We're just going for peak. I'd love to do a multi-point test, but. We're just going for pure intensity right here just to see. Um, and we can analyze like that. Uh, this is the factory halogen at 25 feet and we're hitting a maximum lux of 351. Okay, here's the diodynamics. You can see by itself, I'm at a different angle. Definitely not as clean as the original halogen uh, setup. A little bit spottier, a little bit messier. We usually see that with LED bulbs. It's not something that is ideal, but it is the case on most of them. And uh, we'll get another max intensity reading. So quite, quite a good amount brighter, obviously at 832. Okay, these twisting at an angle, so you have to do some work. The Morimoto includes a wrench to loosen and retighten. So you can see how that's situated perfectly in there. The diode dynamics use an Allen key. Honestly, I prefer the Allen key. Uh, we'll show you the output of both in just a moment. Let's get the halogen going too. You can tell the Morimoto is very different than what we just saw with the diode dynamics. I mean, the chip placement is completely different on the Morimotos if you study everything. Um, diode dynamics just has a different way of doing things. Can we get it a little, a little higher? So I don't know what you guys think about that. Um, in person, the Morimoto, it's, it's a little bit taller. It's, there's an area where it kind of, kind of bleeds over the line and it's a little bit more jagged. And I think in the distance that'll create 
a little bit of a possibly a glare zone if you've got them aligned to the same exact height uh, because obviously in distance that will magnify and create like a taller area so not fond of that uh, same thing with the diodynamics and the original bulb the intensity zone is much lower than the kind of the cutoff per se um, but overall yeah it's an interesting interesting setup and um, yeah, we'll get into just, uh, can we just see without the halogen now? Yeah, if we just compare that. There's some extra light above the cutoff, but it's in a different way. And uh, it's almost like streaks. Those are interesting too. Uh, not digging, yeah, that whole area right above the cutoff. Not as clean, I would say. But um, yeah, we'll get, a, we'll get a quick reading while this is up on the wall. And uh, keep it simple. So yeah, it looks like the diode dynamics edged it out. We only hit 712 lux in terms of a max intensity reading. It's close enough. I think this one, I mean, it, it doesn't really necessarily matter how bright something is. It's how, how well it's using the light source. And in this case, it almost seems as though, as if the diode dynamics um, definitely wins in this particular case. But again, it's a case by case basis. What fits here, what works here, may not be the same thing in the next model. So, uh, interesting comparison. Take it with a grain of salt. Let us know what you think after you watch the video. But this was a low beam reflector comparison using these new LED bulb options.